Hey, did you know that the words cliché and stereotype have their origin in printing and typography? No? Then stay tuned and I will tell you all about it. If we look at early newspapers, chances are we won't find a single illustration used throughout the entire newspaper. So why is that? Because it is letterpress, relief printing with movable type, so individual letters made from metal usually. To add an image we need to create a printing block that behaves just like relief printing letters. We need something like a woodcut or engraving in metal and bring it exactly to the same height as our letters. Only then will it print properly along with the text. And while that is of course possible, it is an elaborate process to create those blocks and was often too time consuming and expensive to do for just a single use like a newspaper print run. But print shops did have a lot of such printing blocks. But instead of creating them for a specific purpose, the images were designed in a way that made them reusable. Something like ornaments or seasonal images, like Christmas illustrations for example. A print shop could order or create those and offer it to multiple clients over time to be used. So with these printing blocks, printers were replicating a rather generic artwork over and over again. In a print shop, those printing blocks were called a cliché and later people outside this field started to use this word for something that is not original, overused, generic or stereotypical. And speaking of stereotypical, that comes from the printing trade as well. Creating a letterpress form with text and printing blocks can take a lot of time. And if the prints were all handed out or sold out and needed to be reprinted, the print shop essentially had to start from scratch, recreating the typesetting and the entire layout. It was possible to store the original letterpress forms to be used later, but that meant that all the letters and printing blocks that were used were not available for other prints anymore. So very often that just wasn't an option. But the stereotype solved this problem. A material like paper mache was pressed on the letterpress form and created a precise negative impression of the entire layout. And from that a new single form could be casted. And the result of that process was called a stereotype, which means a solid form or impression. And using this technique had another important advantage, which was that this new cast didn't necessarily have to be flat like the original form, but it could also be casted in a cylindrical shape to be used on the much faster rotary printing presses with cylindrical printing forms. And just like with the word cliché, people started to use the word stereotype outside the printing trade in a more metaphorical sense, referring to generalized and replicated ideas or images. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. A special thanks to my new patrons on Patreon. If you support me through this platform, you get instant access to behind the scenes footage and some valuable perks like free downloads of some of my commercial fonts. So feel free to check that out.